This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Domain.com. Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Mark Nsengen from Techno Buffalo, and in today's video, we'll be taking a look at some of the new features in iOS 9 Beta 3. The new beta went live for developers this morning, and with it comes Apple Music and a news app. Let's take a look at what else this new beta has to offer. The biggest addition to iOS 9 Beta 3 would probably be the new news app. Announced at WWDC, the news app will essentially offer a curated list of news stories based on your preferences and interests. Inside the app, there are five tabs to choose from. For you, favorite, explore, search, and save. For you, we'll show you all of the articles and news from all the sources you chose during the setup process and will update automatically as new articles are published. Favorites will show you a grid view of the news outlets that you have selected when setting up news. You can also add news sources from the explore tab, which will show you suggested news outlets and topics and will also allow you to browse different categories in case you're looking for something specific. Search, you'll be able to search for certain news outlets and keywords. And save is where your saved articles will live and you can also see some of the articles you have previously viewed. Overall, the news app looks beautiful with nice transitions and animations, and I think it's a great app to catch up on recent news. Moving on, Apple Music finally made its way to iOS 9. It features Beats 1 Radio, which is a 24-7 live radio that features exclusive interviews, hand-picked songs, and features a variety of hosts. We also have Apple Connect, which is a way for artists to connect with their fans, and of course, you'll have access to millions of tracks with Apple Music. We did a separate video about Apple Music, which launched at the end of last month, so if you guys haven't seen that yet, make sure to check out that video over here. On to the little changes. Inside the settings app in the music section, you now have the option to stream music at the highest quality while using a cellular connection. Apple has also introduced a revamped two-factor authentication system, which apparently uses different methods to trust devices and deliver verification codes. Inside the camera app, Apple decided to disable the volume buttons to be used as a shutter button. Now, we're not sure if this is permanent, but we're hoping it's not. Jumping into the photos app, there are two new folders dedicated to selfies. Yes, selfies, and one for screenshots. Inside the mail app, there are new icons for unread, flag, and archive or delete when swiping left or right on a message, which is a nice addition that I personally like since I use the mail app on a daily basis. On the iPad specifically, app folders on the iPad now displays apps in a 4x4 grid instead of the usual 3x3 arrangement, allowing users to see more apps in a folder at a glance. Lastly, Siri no longer makes her classic sound when activated. Again, we're not sure if this will be permanent, but as of now, there aren't any settings to toggle the sound back on. You'll now also get Siri app suggestions when swiping down from the home screen, which is something that was missing in past betas. Let me stop the video real fast and thank our friends over at Domain.com. It's the place to go when the next great idea hits you. It's a one-stop shopping for all your domain names and web hosting email needs. Domain wants to hook our fans up with a pretty cool offer. Save 20% on domain names and web hosting if you use the coupon code TECHNOBUFFALO. It's all one word in caps at Domain.com's checkout. And that's about it. If you guys want to see any of the other changes in past betas, make sure to check out the links down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and we will see you guys in the next one.